So we've just come back from a firework display and one of my girls didn't want to wear the hat herself and she put it on my head, so hence this cool look. Uh, so hi, I'm Midnight Mule. Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. This is the 5% series. We're at the beginning of the season. I gave you a selection of players to choose from, a small selection. You chose whoever you want to. Then every week I say who you need to captain, who you need to bench and whether or not you need to make any transfers. We've only got two more weeks before the World Cup and then in game week 17, which is Boxing Day, anyone who's not doing the system at the moment can jump in and start playing along as well. It's very simple to follow and the goal is to finish in the top 5% globally and with that you should do alright in your mini leagues. Alright, let's have a look at the game week just gone and what we're going to do. So game week 14 scores, starting with the bankers. All teams have Ward, Martinelli and Haaland. Ward always starts on the bench or nearly always starts on the bench. Martinelli scored eight points and Haaland didn't play. We did have Haaland as our captain, but if you didn't have him, then it would have gone on one of the Arsenal players. So some people would have had Martinelli as captain and therefore got 16 points. For the keeper, everyone had either Ramsdale or Pope. They both got six points. So we have six points for the keeper. For the defenders, you'd have had two or possibly three of these. That's Robertson, Cancelo, Perisic and Trippier. And they got 7, 6, 4 and 11. So you'd have got at least 10 points if you had the worst two. Maximum of 24. And I know somebody doing the system did get the 24 because they had Robson, Cancelo and Trippier. And I reckon maybe an average of 14 or 14 plus, depending on how you look at it really. Midfielders, they weren't so good. You'd have had three of Anthony, Bowen, Foden, Madison, Saka or Zaha. And their scores were nothing. Anthony was injured. 2, 1, 2, 4 or 2. So really poor from the midfielders. An average of, I'm reckoning, about 5.5. But of course, if you had Anthony, then somebody would have come off your bench. And we'll look at the bench shortly. Two forwards, you'd have had two of these four playing for you. Jesus, Tony, Mitrovic, Solanke. They scored 9, 1, 1 and 2. And if you had Jesus then the chances are he was your captain. So you'd have got an additional nine points for that last week. Uh, so you'd have got at least two points from your forwards, maximum of 11 for getting the captaincy and an average of six and a half. Now the bench, you'd have all had at least one of your bench players coming on. If you had Anthony, you'd have had two of your bench players coming on. And obviously I don't know who your bench is, but this is the order that they would have been available. Andreas got three, Gay got six, Tarkovsky got six, Bailey two, Justin two, Williams one, which I think is pretty good seeing as Forrest lost 5-0. Fafana and didn't play and Fafadson got one. So it was hard to work out the range of scores that people got this week. So what I did, I actually looked at the scores that the people I know are following this did get. And it's pretty much, if you followed my instruction, you'd have a minimum of 55 last week, average 56, maximum 57 and that's actually the closest group they've all been now we're aiming for 60 a week so that's a little bit disappointing but it was lowest scoring for a lot of teams so the players the teams managers that are following the system are still around the five percent mark so we're doing all right oh, <laughs> i keep forgetting if you like this sort of thing please do subscribe and if you want to do this system definitely make sure you subscribe so you see when i do updates for this Currently got 226 subscribers. That's that's nice. So the transfer for this week. If you have Tony, you want to sell him and buy one of these players I'm going to show you. If you don't have Tony but you do have Mitrovic, I'm suggesting you sell him and buy one of these players. If you happen to have Tony and Mitrovic and you've got two free transfers because you made no transfers last week, then I suggest you sell both of these players and buy two of these. So the choice is between Calvert-Lewin, Everton 7.9, Wilson for 7.5, who may be ill, but we think he probably isn't ill, so he's probably going to be all right, and Solanke. It is possible you've got Tony Mitrovic and Solanke already, and then maybe you can't afford one of these other two, but I suspect you're going to be all right financially to do this. So have Tony, definitely sell him. If you have Mitrovic but not Tony, definitely sell him. If you have Tony and Mitrovic and you have a free transfer, sell both of them, get one of these in. Don't worry about Anthony for Man United. It's possible he's going to play this weekend, so just hold him. So on the bench this week, every week I tell you who to put on the bench. And if you do that, 
the starting eleven sort themselves out. So you want Ward on the bench. And now I'm now going to show you a selection of players. The first one you have, you put in bench position number three. The next one you see that I have goes in position number two. The last one you see that I have goes in position number one. So Fafana, Williams, Andreas, Gay, Justin, Patterson, Bailey and Tarkovsky. And if you've got Tarkos Tarkovsky and Patterson, that's fine. They might both come on and Leicester may not score. So you may do all right there. Your captain this week, I'm suggesting even though he may not play or he may come on just for a few minutes or he may play the first half only, I think it's still worth putting the old mule hat. Where is it? Putting the old mule hat on Haaland. So he should be the captain this week. Vice captain's a bit more tricky. Now, if you want to put it on another Man City player like Foden or Cancelo, for example, that's fine. But personally, I have a rule, which is I don't captain and vice captain players from the same game, just in case the remote chance it gets called off, which it can do for freak weather or if there's power failure or there was a terrorist uh, bomb threat one time at Man United a few seasons back. So for those reasons, I always choose from a different team. So although Cancelo will fold into the obvious choice as a vice captain, my recommendation is to look elsewhere. So if you happen to have Dominic Calvert-Lewin, you just bought him, make him your vice captain. If you don't have him, but you have Wilson, Wilson's your vice captain. If you have neither of those, but you have Jesus, make him your vice captain. If you have none of those, but you do have Solanke, make him your vice captain. And I think that should be all the bases covered. Everyone doing the system should have at least one of those strikers. So there we have it. Hopefully nice and easy for this week. And... Like I said, if you're not playing this now, but you want to play it shortly in the future, make sure you subscribe and then you can join in the fun before Boxing Day. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.